Hello, it's Pequali here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So I'm bringing a brand new, I guess you call it like a let's play. It's something that I'm playing in my own gameplay and I'm kind of like testing out. And if you happen to see the build that I made for the animal rescue, I have Miss Arabella Sparkle here. And she basically is the most sweetest, wholesome sim you could ever meet, basically like Ever. So she's a huge animal lover, dog lover, cat lover, whatever it is, she loves it. And she's super cheerful, so she's literally the most happiest and cheerful person. She, if she's not donating, you know, she's volunteering, something to help with the world um, keep going round, basically. I got inspo from this game on Steam that I found because I was like you know when you you're playing sims a lot and you kind of like just kind of scroll through all the games that you could possibly play and you you know just want to venture out there besides playing sims all the time there was like this animal shelter game and it was actually like really really fun and I think they're coming out like with a second part of it as well basically with that game you run a rescue um like this animal shelter rescue and you can like upgrade it and like furnish it and like have a vet like there's so much to it I can go on and on about but I'm like there's what like there's a couple things missing that I wish it had and definitely one of those things was being able to like make a person uh, or create a person I should say and uh have them have traits like all of this with like simulation because you can't really do this and do that in the animal shelter game it's mainly like you're creating and or upgrading uh the you know the shelter itself so i'm like i want to make her own home like i want to do all this so i'm like how can i incorporate that in the sim that's when i use my little noggin <laughs> and i decided to be a little creative and i went full on let me just make sure i let you oh i didn't let you guys out i'm so sorry went all out and i decided to uh build this huge animal rescue now i wanted to make basically a dog space and obviously like a cat space and you know you could do you could do horses you can do you know those type of pets that we can actually play like we can definitely do those but i don't really think there's actual like stray horses in the game that just like go around i'm pretty sure chestnut ridge i when this pack came out the horse ranch pack i really didn't play much with it honestly i didn't even play much with horses to be honest so I definitely wanted to like try out a new world and just see how it would play out. We kind of just stuck with um, dogs and cats for now. So because I was like testing this out to see if this can actually work in The Sims 4, I'm like, let me just, let me just feel it out before I start getting, cause I was like, ooh, we can have bunnies. We can have, we can have birds. Like, even though we can't really put them up for adoption, but I'm just like, let's have all these animals. Like I got really excited, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just stick with cats and dogs right now. Let's see how this can work with like getting them adopted and everything like that. As I was playing, I was kind of coming up with these rules. I was trying to see like, I feel like I don't play with pets enough, especially when it comes to like gameplay. Cause it's just, you know, of course, just like in, in real life, dogs are dogs, cats, animals are just like, you know, they're, um, maintenance a little bit high maintenance and when you have multiple sims and then pets it can be like extremely uh difficult to play although it's fun it's chaotic it can definitely be you know you kind of miss out on the true aspect of having a pet um or even both you know cats and dogs whichever so i really want to you know embrace that having cats and dogs embrace every single breed that we have in the game how they interact with other sims um I, you know, there is mods and stuff like that that I was thinking of downloading to make the gameplay even better. But I'm like, you know what? Let me try it without mods. I think the only mod that I'm really using is the MC Commander mod. And you'll, I'll let you, like, we'll go on how that really works into this type of gameplay. I was also thinking, too, I'm like, you know what? Let me expand the household and the only way to do that is by expanding it more than eight sims is the mc commander mod but you know there is a little trick to it where like if you were to go and create a sim you have to do it through the mc commander you can't like right click when you have cheats on and go into modifying cast like it's a whole thing or like it will delete 
either one of the Sims or one of the pets. So I was really like, mm, you know, I'm like, let me see how this works first. And then if I really want to give myself a, ooh, why you guys, <laughs> if you guys want to really want to give yourself a challenge, um, you know, then I will, you know, increase the household. And we're definitely going to get into some gameplay. I don't want to like have the day go on too long with me talking because like, a day goes by so quick when you're trying to run an animal rescue in The Sims. Like, I'll tell you that. Start off with, let's start off with asparagus, okay? So, obviously, as you guys can see, this is the dog run. Now, what's cool is that I was also thinking, I'm like, how am I going to incorporate having a specific, like, kennel, so to speak? I wanted it to make more of, like, a modern, homey animal shelter but i just wanted to have that look basically make it look a lot more homier than like a regular schmegler shelter you know um but asparagus is the first ever pet that we rescued now how did we rescue him he was a stray what you can do so in the trait lots so we have dog hangout we have training grounds and we have cat hangout lot challenges i just have like simple living and the wild prairie grass was like already came with the lot when i was building on this specific lot with these traits you will have cats and dogs come into your tour no matter what they're literally at first the first absolute day i was overwhelmed from how many dogs and cats were literally at our front door and that was another thing, too, I wanted to make sure. So her little home that she has here. Now, the first ever day, I was like, there was little cats and dogs, like, lying through the entire house. It was covered. And, like, it's, like, a small home. And it was filled with cats and dogs. And I'm like, you know what? Let me have this door locked for any pets going in and out. So I definitely did that. This little here, this here, this little office area. Now this is kind of separate from her home. I made this to make it more realistic that this will basically be where the, you know, the people that want to adopt any of the pets that we have, they'll come here, we'll meet here. Or she's just on her computer looking through people that are putting in adoption forms. And then like, this is actually from City Living. And I just made it seem like, you know, this is kind of like a little treats for them. Application forms here, which I thought was really cool. And then I just put like a lot of little decors just to make it, you know, very like cutesy and like make it her thing. Now cats and dogs can go in and out of this area here. And then I put little like pet doors too because again, I don't use these pet doors a lot. Like I think I even put one. Oh, nice. I covered it. It's right. Well, we don't even have cats and dogs going in here anyways, but I did put a little pet door here because I don't utilize those. I really don't. With the cat house, now I kind of did the same thing, but I just put all cat stuff. So I put like a little cat scratcher and then every single one has like another small cat scratcher. Ooh, a litter box that we have to clean. Cohesive to the style and I wanted to do like different colors in each one. And, you know, we can definitely glam it up a little bit more. I made like a little utility closet or like supply closet where they keep everything. Thing. This is actually from like Horse Ranch too. And then we put, used obviously a lot of the cats and dogs items too. With each cat and dog house, I put like a dumpster or like a recycle bin right behind it just so it's not like right in the view of it. Dogs, I put like a little bath area. And oh my God, tell me why I did not notice this the little mud paws from the cats and dogs expansion pack which i thought was so perfect so i put that in the the little bathroom where they all get their baths because let me tell you having multiple dogs that love to roll in like dirty puddles and then they're like filthy it's like it's it's something else it's a whole it's a whole other thing but i'm just gonna have her come and take care of everything now miss arabella she is but definitely like obviously with having simple living i you know i see her growing her own produce her own vegetables everything like that um so she obviously has her own garden and when it comes to having a garden and if you have the seasons pack you definitely want to have a greenhouse so that way any produce or whichever that you need uh you want it to keep growing and then obviously that would be growing in the greenhouse i will let you guys know too so bernice is actually our first she adopted one of our uh pets uh, that we rescued Bella the thing is so kind of my rule to it basically we have already a few pets now we were maxed out now we have about seven total household slots so we can definitely adopt another um, or rescue I should say 
another pet. So how I basically do it, so with Stripe. Now with the dogs, I have a little bit more of a rule. We can do like a little rug right in front of it and like no other, no cats will go into this. It says this house has gone to the dogs. Welcome dogs one and all. So I'm pretty sure like it only allows dogs. And then this side, as you know, is just cats. So back to how... I like rescue them. I consider rescuing with strays. So obviously strays are just like roaming around. You can either go to Brindleton Bay because they have just so many strays running around and you don't need those like specific traits or literally you can just have the traits on your lot and then um, all the stray animals will literally just like come to your house. Now the dogs are a little bit more complex than the cats. So my rule is the only way for them to get put up for adoption is if they're spayed or neutered, we're trying to decrease the huge population of pets in the world, right? Just like, you know, in real life. So many ideas, so many things that you can literally do. Like you can do the whole breeding thing and then put the puppies up for adoption. And I think you can sell them too um, if you want to go that way as well. Asparagus was the first dog we rescued. Came to our door just like that. Now he was kind of like a foster failure, if you want to call it that. Because we were supposed to give him up for adoption, of course. But he, and I'll put it in the picture. I absolutely like fell in love with Asparagus. Because his bond with Arabella is... It is something different compared to all the other dogs. Like, I don't know what it is. That's why it really brings like the true personalities and their fears and their wants and their, you know, their true personalities out. So that's what I loved about it. So she had a really, really great bond with asparagus and just like his name is perfect. We did get him neutered as well. So as far as training goes, they need to at least learn how to sit and heal now she actually just recently maxed out her her pet training skills so which is only up to level five so then they also have to either be neutered or spayed they have to three misbehaviors corrected for example they know how to go to the bathroom so they'll literally go to the bathroom on their own like you don't have to either walk them or tell them like uh, ax to go potty or whatever and then also there's like another one with like drinking cuddles which it could be like their urine it's like horrible <laughs> or eating poop i found out is a bad misbehavior i didn't even do know the dogs in the sims 4 could do that so that was like another one so any one that i see that is like a considered a bad behavior i make sure that arabella corrects it um, just so that they're well behaved for when they get rescued. So Mr. Stripe did get neutered, so he's set to go. And it's it's not a lot of money. It's only a hundred dollars to get the pet spayed or neutered, and I think it's the same amount for cats as well. I thought it'd be a little cheaper for cats, but so and that's another thing too. So once those are off the list then or like checked off the list for them to get adopted and as long as they're happy they're healthy and as long as they're clean too we got to make sure that we bathe them before they get adopted so they're nice and clean so as far as them getting adopted now i tried out a few ways so let's go to our kitties so gwen right again kitties are a little bit or a lot a bit easier actually they don't really have bad behaviors unless it's really like scratching something they're not supposed to but i haven't really seen them do that so i don't really see them have any bad behaviors i always look at their traits as well so i make sure i know all the the pets traits i look out for their um their fears because as you know like pets have a lot of fears too so i look out for those as well she's vacuuming it why are you gonna vacuum it that's not gonna work now, listen, this day is usually a lot busier than how it is. Um, I'm just kind of explaining everything. Back to the kitties, right? So Gwen, I actually like forgot. I'm like, wait, I want to get them spayed and neutered. Like I forgot that when you're these strays, they're never spayed or neutered. And that's like the biggest thing. So Gwen, I had Gwen, right? Where the heck is Gwen? she literally ventures out that's another thing one of her traits i'm pretty sure is like aloof so she literally just ventures out to like anywhere where she wants and then we have jake who's actually really sweet gwen originally when i adopted her right i, I forgot i'm like shoot you know i have to get them spayed neutered whatever but i forgot too late and then when i got gwen and then i got jake they happened to mate and like fall in love with each other right away and then gwen got pregnant and she had stefani 
which I have right here. So <laughs> I'm keeping their names that they originally come with when I when I adopt them. Bonnie now got adopted, right? We adopted her out. Now, my only thing was is when I tried it out, so what I did was I went to call adoption agency and I said, put up pet for adoption. It was no cost, right? And then I clicked her and then tell me why. It literally said it made this whole big thing. They were both sad. Arabella and Noah were both so sad, like neglected pet. So right here, so St Stefani was taken away by the pet care worker. The way that they worded that, I'm like, no harm, no foul, right? But they made it seem, like the game made it seem that I neglected this pet. And I was like, okay, we're never doing that again. I swear Arabella was so sad for days and I'm like, oh my god. I felt so bad, but I'm like, you know what? There has to be another way because that made me really sad. I was like, you know what? If there isn't any other way, I don't know if I want to do this unless I like initially literally take the pet physically and put it into a household that I think would be okay. Now, in MC Command Center, right? If you go to Sim com Commands and then you go to Pet Adoption, adopt the selected Sim into a specified household, right? And then you can literally choose, like it's a whole list of I think all the Sims that live in the world and you can choose a Sim to adopt the selected pet, which I thought was so cool. So I, <laughs> I tested it out, no bad emotions. I was like, okay, that can work. Stripe is gonna be the next one to get adopted. The challenge is, is basically trying to get the pets situated well behaved trained spayed or neutered as quickly as you can to get them adopted out so that way you can rescue more animals but i just want her to just comfort mayor whiskers there has been a little bit of a glitch for sure when i'm interacting with one of the strays where like i'll try and interact with them and then my sim just stands there and the pet just stands there and i'm just like uh hello like, what's going on? See, like, now she's standing there. My whiskers don't know where you at. So I try to keep an eye on the time as well. So, like, I think around, like, 9, 10 o'clock, the latest, I'll have all the pets. I'll, lo like, lock them up in there just so that they don't, you know, wander out, whichever. Because it is very open. I'm trying to make it realistic as possible. With the dogs, too, which is something that I noticed, which is really cool, is that um, you obviously can ask them to lie down in the bed. And the more that I was doing this throughout each day with having each specific dog, the more that the dogs, oh my God, the more that the dogs like had the routine of going to the bed at that specific time or going in that specific area too. Uh, use, like this one is open. Asparagus won't go into this bed and lay there. He goes right into this bed and lays there. So I just started to notice like as playing that, um, which I thought was really cool. So I'm gonna ask uh, Stripe to lay down and ask Tuppy to lay down. And then with the cats, I literally just click on the floor here and then it'll just call the pet over to this area. So what I do is like I literally click on the fence. Like once I know they're in there, I'll click on the little fence and I'll put lock for individual and then I'd put the pet. When in the morning, I will unlock it for Jake, but Gwen can't get in here. It's definitely a process, let me tell you. Like I try to make it not repetitive. It can definitely possibly be some gameplay that can be repetitive. You don't know what type of personality of a pet you're gonna get they're all so different so that's definitely one thing that makes it really interesting all right good morning guys so it's friday it's 7 30 we are ready to start our day and get these pets adopted. few other things now i know i have like this chicken coop back here that's not being utilized but i wanted the idea of her definitely having like chickens and maybe overall like end up having you know some bunnies and stuff like that because we do actually have some birds oh he's a little looming anxiety that he's going to get cheated on mr noah gray actually lived down the block from her um and he was like an animal lover himself and he heard so much about sparkle sanctuary i want to be involved with that because she definitely needed some volunteers and he's like there's no way that she's doing this all by herself so he showed up do you know they were like attracted to each other and whatnot so they definitely like hit it off yeah that's where he came in <laughs> but it's so nice to have help because he's actually a cat lover she's a dog lover obviously she loves cats and dogs but it does help to have that bond like of each of them so that way both pets get the fair share that 
you know, the fair care that they need. So today's goal is definitely getting Stripe adopted. Now I need also to have him resume this painting. How they get their money is another thing. So originally, obviously Arabella, I could have made a run down animal sanctuary or animal rescue right and then build up from there i could have definitely done that i had this whole vision and this whole Anna. image in my head and how the build would come out and just like the colors and the vibrancy and the cute cutesy of it decor whatnot so i'm just like i have to i want to do it that way and then i wasn't gonna go too wild with it so I was just like, I can upgrade as I go. So she really didn't have an, a lot of money. And it was like, getting a little bit of a struggle. Like, I won't lie. But then when Mr. Noah Gray moved in, we obviously got a lot of money. So that's where this came from. Now, you know, we can say, like, and pretend that people donate. I got these food stalls. But I had the idea of selling toys and food bowls and all that. But then I found out we can't do that. I thought we can, like you know sell them so that way when they dog toys or whichever they can buy them here so i'm i'm still figuring out what we can sell here right i feel like she's a jack of all trades with everything how she can literally afford and you know make this place run and then with this i was thinking of making like and i try to test it out decent profit but i feel like for making how did you gwen how did Gwen get in my house? See, now I'm seeing a bad behavior of Gwen. That ain't good. Lecture about knocking it down. And let's lecture about playing in the trash. So when you go here, right? And you go to... And cook homestyle pet recipe. You can make these dishes. It can add up and you can make money from it. So my idea was to like sell these kinds of dishes to get that more income basically. But it does take time because it's only like one serving and one plate. I don't know. I think my thought process definitely doing like we can host like a charity event. So like if we go to... So we can do like you know a couple things so there's ranch animal day so maybe we can do something like that like that would be fun um the challenge rewards guests are ready and eager to donate simoleons to the ranch how much well that depends on how successful the event is that's actually cool i didn't know this so that's cool if we can do that with the rescue even though we don't have and eventually i plan to do that like and although we can't have goats and up uh, like we can't adopt them out but we can at least have them and I, I think that would be really cool you know events will definitely help with the donation there's this neighborhood potluck we can do as well so um sharing favorite food get ready to showcase your culinary skills which she is a good cook i have to say and noah loves painting so that's one of his big things so so yeah i have like a little easel here i also have some like crochet stuff that she can do and maybe eventually we can make some like little clothes if we end up getting like a little bunny hut too that'd be really nice and she can sell those too i don't know if she can sell them through here but she can definitely sell them through plopsy i believe it's called when it comes to like again back to having mods now obviously there's that the pet mod where you can you, you're able to control the pet i just feel like it's so much more fun and more of a challenge to really just see them from the sims perspective and you can literally when they're like down you can ask them what's wrong and then they you know give you a little uh, a little speech bubble and tell you like a little symbol of what's wrong obviously she will know a lot of sims as time goes on she did know bernice um already so that's how bella got adopted because bernice definitely like reached out to her and my goal for the rescue in the future is definitely um owning a vet now i wanted to and i will put this on the gallery but i did want to have like a little bit of a start of a build i do want her to learn the the vet skill um that we have i think that'd be really cool like i don't know if we can just do the exam if we can treat them doing like getting the surgery table or whatnot but we can also make some really cool um treats i'm pretty sure Oh, she can craft a surgery station. So she can make medicine too, which we can sell, I'm sure. So that would be really cool. I mean, I feel like in real life, that's kind of illegal. But no, I think that would be really cool. But I just definitely want to experience the vet skill for sure and having her do that because I think it'd be really fun. My only thing is, is like, I want to try and figure out because... I want to go to the Sims home and make sure that it's appropriate fit for the pet. Like, for example, 
Bella, our previous, she was playful, hairy, but she was super jumpy. Um, so she was very scared. They will often shy away from things like fights. They get easily frightened, things like that. And then I found out she has the observant trait that I bought satisfaction points. I found out Jay was hot headed. But I'm like, you know what? There's a toddler in the house. Bernice is has really good traits too and then dolly she's an art lover material so she had good traits too she had like amazing compatibility with them so i thought that's why bella was definitely and they were a good fit for bella where these people lived because if i go here and i go through here and i i can't really see like obviously i know of them like agnes garner she obviously lives in she lives in glimmerbrook obviously we know that right and with him being a red bone coon hound He's a glutton, he's a sleuth, so he's naturally more curious, likes to investigate different objects around the house, and he's super playful. Um, there is Brant Heckling. Aw, so they're out here. How adorable. Literally grilling. I think that's adorable. So one thing I definitely do when I have them come and adoption process, I have Mr. or I have the pet basically. Oh, they really like each other. So they have a dog ready Rosie who's like a little Frenchie. So I have the pet basically go and be nice to. So I had her go be nice. Um, go be nice to Rosie so they seem to really like each other so because we don't know either of them I'm gonna I'm going to give them a respectful introduction so I will give him a respectful introduction so he's romantic he's a dog lover and he's a goofball couldn't be any more perfect <laughs> um, okay it's not about you guys right now like simmer down so our lover good and he loves outdoors so I would not be surprised if see amazing compatibility I know I knew it. I knew it. We could literally be best friends. All right. So she's giving Rosie the friendliest introduction so she'll meet her as well. So they really hit it off. Huge yard that they have. Very spacious home. Absolutely love it. There's multiple beds. I think they're set. I mean, the only thing they really may need is maybe some toys. I'm going to give Stripe a little hug. I don't even want to be companion. I don't know. I thought I didn't even know I was going to have asparagus to be honest. So companion I feel like is just literally like they have to live with us. Stripe, you are a very good boy to have. I'm just going to feel the love because that's one of her aspirations as well. All right. So now he's happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, but like I said, I'm going to do it this way and I'm going to hope and pray that I find them. Oh, look at that. Brant Hecking. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then he'll have the last name of Hecking. Yes, so perfect. He was adopted. He's out of our household. Oh, man, and he literally lives here. He has Stripe Hecking. Uh, Hecking as his last name. Let's get you that toy box that we said we're going to get. So, all right, let's get back home. I think to make it more realistic, I'll try and see if, like, when we look at the potential adopters um i want them to come here and visit obviously like i want them to come here um although they submitted one let's say online they're also going to come here and we'll sit and chat and you know they'll take a look at the rescue and i just wanted to make it look for sure or feel like way more realistic so i but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'll definitely put this lot on the gallery so if you want you can literally just like demolish her house and build something of your own and then just kind of keep everything else and i want to put this on the lot too just so you have that base and do updated videos of just like how the gameplay goes but again if you guys really like the video definitely give it a thumbs up down below comment for any suggestions that any future videos you want to see or anything that you guys suggest that might make this gameplay even a little bit better subscribe if you want to just follow the journey of this video or any other videos that i post up so i'm gonna skedaddle but i'll see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.